Hi, it's Carrie Mai, and this is your Vancouver real estate market update for April 2022. As predicted from last month, we're starting to see the greater Vancouver real estate market turn. This is completely normal. The real estate market is cyclical. What goes up must come down, or in this case, slow down. Over the past month, we saw the five-year fixed mortgage rates pop up over and around the 4% range. As much as there have been policies introduced to ban foreign home buyers and get home flippers and speculators to pay more tax, at the end of the day, our current housing market is very much influenced by the cost of borrowing and not so much the other things. Overall, we're still in a seller's market with calmer bidding wars than last spring because buyers no longer have a sense of panic. March 2021 was the highest selling month in Greater Vancouver history. So you'll notice last month's sales is actually down 24% when compared with March 2021. But we're seeing an uptick of 27% in home sales when compared with February of this year. We're still seeing more new home listings come on the market month over month this year. We're up 22% from February 2022, but still down 20% when compared with March 2021. The MLS benchmark price is sitting at $1,360,500, which is a 21% increase from last March and a 3.6% increase from February of this year. To own a detached home in Greater Vancouver, it's going to cost you an average benchmark price of $2,118,600. Townhouses, $1,138,300 and condos, $835,500. Detached home and condo prices have increased around 3.5% from February 2022, but oh my gosh, townhouses shot up 28% in price when compared with February of 2022. We're still seeing demand out there for properties and prices are still holding strong at the moment. So don't expect prices to tumble as housing inventory is still too low. However, with a handful more mortgage rate hikes to come and new policies to be introduced as a result of 2022 being in an election year, economists predict that the real estate market is projected to return to more normal levels as the year progresses. However, external factors like increased immigration will cause a higher demand for rentals, and we're seeing rents rise to its highest levels in Vancouver right now. For more details about the 2022 federal budget, I've included a link in the description below. If you'd like to discuss more about what you heard and saw here today, DM me and I'd be happy to chat. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.